Well, welcome back. Today we're painting this little kitty that's watching the hummingbirds. So let me get started on him. I'm using mixtures of um, burnt umber and some white and then even a little ultramarine blue mixed in. That makes it a little bit grayer here where he goes back. I think I have him too thick in there. Behind in pop up there. I want that leaf to break out over him. So I've saved my background color. I think, I, yeah, there it is. It took me a while to find it. I've got a whole bunch of paint saved here on the left side of my palette, and it just took me a while to find what I was looking for. I want that edge to be soft back there because I just want his back end to kind of go back. And his little tail is kind of flipped up here. I'm going to make that just, and again, we want it to just be real soft. I'll add the tiger stripes on there in a minute, but I'm going to come back. These little kittens, their tails are just kind of fluffy. And so I just want it to be kind of soft there. I don't, don't want it to be real distinct. So I want that to go back. his back end to be to just be soft back there because we want his his front to be more focused so and then he's his little tummy is a little bit lighter here again I'll come back in a little bit and add the tiger stripes now, I've also got some of the blue from my ceramic container here. I'm going to darken this a little bit under his, under him right here where he's on that tile. I'm just making a shadow there. He's got his legs stretched out back behind him. Any of you who have had cats, you've seen them in that position. They just love stretching out. They get in the oddest positions. Now I'm going to fix this right here where I painted over it. I save all my oil color out on the side of my palette. It's very easy. The oils will stay pliable for a few days. So I, by the time I'm finished with the painting, my paint stays good enough to, to finish the painting. Now we're going to start working on his here. Again, these edges are soft. Up under his neck. And he's going to have going to have white under here too. But now his shoulder is comes in here. He's a little more distinct as we come up in here. White here under his chin. This is a mixture of ultramarine blue and white with a little bit of cadmium orange in there. We don't want it pure white. We'll save the pure white for the highlights on his face. And then we may come back and add a little bit in here. But and again, I just want those edges to be soft because he's a furry little critter, so it's not real, real hard. I'm going to let that white go all the way. Now I'll let that get dark. Just kind of, I, I go back and forth on these guys, so we'll just see how it goes. And a little bit of light here onto the shoulder. And then his paws are going to be white. Like this leg here, we're bringing this down. But then that, that's going to be white. It's going to have a white paw there. And I want this to be a little bit darker because he's, these are stripes. 
You can see I'm using a bright brush. It's a square tipped brush, but I can use the edge of it to make his, his stripes. I'll worry about his back. Now I'm getting a little bit smaller brush, and I want to start making his paws. I'll let some of that brown come down into the side of this paw to give it a little shadow. And this one here. The kitties with white paws are just really, really pretty. My two girls are solid black. Although Molly's starting to get some white hairs, she's, she's getting up there now. She's seven and a half years old, so for Kath, that's getting a little bit older, so she's starting to show a little bit of gray, a little bit of white in her coat. To pull some of those hairs out, I guess, here and there. I'll do a little more definition on those paws, but we're going to have to bring a little more white into that chest. That sun's kind of hitting him. Getting a little bit lighter down here because he's going to have the lights coming in from the upper left, so this will be in highlight, and then he's got a shadow from his head is going down. My reference material, I, I use photographs. I use photograph reference for the flowers. I use for the cats. I use that, and that's all on my laptop next to my computer. So that I have my reference material all right there. Get this little fluffy, fluffy fur. Get this a little bit lighter right here where it pops up right here on his chest. And we'll pop a little highlight on his top of his paw there, and his little toes, a little highlight on them. But you can see how I can use the corner of that brush to make a fairly fine, fine stroke. I'm going to get some stripes in here on him. This is a mixture of my mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue and one part alizarin crimson. And I've mixed that with a little bit of liquid. right now I just need to get some reference for my little tiger kitty. So I'm look at this one. I think this one might be what I yeah this one gives me what I need. Just had to kind of look at my files a minute there and get me a little bit of better reference on my on my baby here. Let me go back to the bigger brush. It makes better stripes. And we'll bring some back here. Again, these are not going to be real distinct. And on his tail. Again, I don't want his tail real distinct either. Now, I am going to bring a little bit of light onto his back here. Oh, there's my garbage truck. You can probably hear it in the background. Just a little bit of, make this a little bit of light because the lights be catching his back. Come over his shoulder here. back here on this a little bit darker. And 
just let that kind of, there we go. Now, bring my stripes back. Again, this, I don't want real distinct. There we go. Now, it's going to have a little bit of stripe coming around on this shoulder here. dark just accentuates the, the white. You can't have light without dark. You know, and that not only applies in paintings, that applies in life. So if you're going through a dark period in your life, just remember those dark periods just appreciate, make us appreciate the, the good things that God gives us even more. God has a plan for us. And there's lots of times we don't understand what that is, but He does all things for our good. That's, we just have to keep that in mind. Okay, we get a little bit of... I need to bring my brown from my tile back in here just a tad. Around that. Okay, now I brought it too much, so light here. And this dark shadow under here is going to be a little bit, add that a little bit big. Okay, I will do his head and face in the next session. So this is going to be a two-part video. I do hope, hope you'll come watch our next session. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you watching. And also I have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process as I paint. And the link is in the description below and it's also on the final frame of my YouTube video. Let me just fix this stripe here and then that one and he's got a little bit here on the top of his arm or leg. Or... Jack always called our cats paws, hands, so <laughs> their arms and hands. Anyway, thank you so much and I hope you'll come watch me paint his little face. Thank you.